I apologize in advance that there's no intro music. My turntable will not read this 7-inch. Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vinyl, Vinyl, Blah. And today we're only blasting Philadelphia's piss grave, posthumous humiliation. Philadelphia's filthiest fucking death dealers right here. Still one of my favorite death metal records of 2019. Fuck yeah, on Profound Lore Records. And we're going to be talking about this split. But first off, there was a problem here. But I have to thank Greg Swine for sending over this Cauldron Burial slash Salal split 7 inch. Elk Skull Altar on the Salal side of things and Ex Morte Vita on the Cauldron Burial side of things. Cauldron Burial plays some pretty sick thrashing black metal while Salal play a more kind of doom by numbers formula of doom metal from the Pacific Northwest. Yes, this comes out of Oregon but is mastered by the mighty Billy Anderson. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, fuck yeah, we need to throw this on. But as soon as I threw it on, it just wouldn't play on my turntable. So I'm like, what the fuck? And my buddy Dennis down in Florida, thank you for this, by the way. It's called a vinyl style. This cleaning unit is fucking awesome. Seriously, it, it works like a fucking charm. So, I, I've been cleaning all my records recently. If I'm throwing something on, even if it's brand new, since I have this new cleaning unit, and it's fucking sick. Like, it's very, very nice. And so, I clean this up twice, and it still won't play on my turntable. So... Therein lied a problem because I was about to break one of my own rules, but since I have a physical copy in my hands, I can technically still review this and not break my own rules. Now, I do not know what this sounds like physically, but digitally, Salal with Elk Skull Altar have a pretty, like I said, Doom by Numbers sounding release with um, Elk Skull Altar. It's nothing too special, and I hate saying that and sounding like a negative Nancy, but like, I'm always trying to be honest with you maniacs, and this just was heavy, it had the riffs, but like, listening to it on a fucking cell phone speaker just didn't really do it for me. That's what I mean, I'm not getting the full feel for it, but Elk Skull Altar, like I said, the riffs were good, I thought the vocals were good, it was just, you know, pretty cool. And Billy Anderson did the mastering here, and he remastered the Cauldron Burial side of Ex Morte Vita, and it sounds great. It was originally mixed and mastered by Patrick Bruce at the Filth Chamber. And Cauldron Burial is Vanessa Norcia on guitar, bass, and vocals, and Greg Swine on drums. While Salal is James Kosherek and John Freely. Free Thigh. Um, F R E E T H Y. I'm sorry, that name sounds very familiar to me. I don't know why I can't think off the top of my head but this record is dedicated to Killjoy rest in peace which is another reason I was bummed out that I couldn't spin this on my turntable hey I tried a couple times for you guys and girls but it just wasn't having it but the cauldron burial side of things ex morte vita very very cool female fronted thrashing black metal and I really, really enjoyed this song. I thought it was sick. It was just really, really good. And if you heard their new full length, which is also really, really good, 
Yeah, Cauldron Burial are one of those bands I feel get slept on a little bit, but they very, very much deserve your attention. And this track right here is a great fucking place to start. Ex Morde Vida on their split with Salal, Elk Skull Altar. This is doomed out, gloomed out, doomed by numbers from Oregon. And yeah, very, very atmospheric, heavy. It's doom metal. So yeah, nothing too real special here besides the production. Like I said, I did not really get to blast this at the volumes I wanted, but the Cauldron Burial side of things really, really grabbed my attention. I was like, all right, this is fucking sick. But again, I'm listening to it digitally, but yeah, if I could spin the seven inch, I would, but Ex Morde Vida and Elk Skull Altar, Salal and Cauldron Burial split seven inch. I'm not sure if it's the color of the vinyl that's just not being read by my needle or what the fuck the problem is. Because as I said, I've, cl I've cleaned this a number of times and it's just not having it whatsoever. It sounds like just white noise kind of, like fucking poltergeist or some shit, but it happens, you know. But. Cauldron Burial are a band worth diving into and checking out their catalog. They have some very, very awesome music, and I really enjoy their tunes, especially Ex Morte Vida. And this is the only thing I could find from Salal. Elk Skull Altar, Doom by Numbers, but still worth your time, because, hey, Doom by Numbers is still better than some Doom bands. So... This is worth your time. If you're a fan of extreme music and split seven inches, definitely give it a chance. But I can't really recommend buying this as, you know, it didn't work for me. So I don't want to be like, oh yeah, you know, it's sick. Go out and buy it. Especially when I kind of think it's mediocre. But I do love the Cauldron Burial side of things. Ex Morde Vida is an awesome, awesome song. But... Salal, Elk Skull Altar, sorry, but it didn't really do too much for me, but thank you Greg Swine for sending us over, much appreciated, fucking hails to Cauldron Burial, and hails to Salal, but we were blasting the mighty Piss Grave Posthumous Humiliation on Profound Lore Records, alongside Night Shroud, who handled the cassette release. So savage. Just imagine if Archgoat and Deicide back in the early days got together and fucked. This would be their fucking love child right here. So good. And as always, thank you all for watching. You fucking rule. Hells. Now once more, I apologize for not having the actual band's music playing in the intro and outro, but... There's literally nothing I can do right now. I'm sorry, but thanks for watching. You fucking rule.